hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn how to use the comparison operators in powershell so comparison operator will help you to compare the two values or finding the value or matching the values or replacing the value in the powershell let's get started with this video here is a what is comparison operator so comparison operator let you compare values or finding values that match a specified pattern powershell include the following comparison operator here i listed down all the uh, all the operators comes under the comparison operator equality operator matching operator replacement operator contentment operator and the type operator let's start uh, let's understand one by one equality operator it use it used to compare two values and out the result in true or false that means is with the help of equality operator you can compare the two values and your output will come in the true and false here is a uh, here is a example list these are types of uh, equality operators hyphen e eq that is means is equals hyphen nq it's used to not equal to hyphen gt is a greater than and greater than uh, greater than or equal so all these operators comes as a equality and you can uh, do the comparison let's test these operators let me take example it's a 5 is equal to I am testing is 5 equal to 4 output is a false no it is not equal to let's go for the next and type ne not equal to 4 so output is yes and the similar way let's go for uh, the gt is it 5 is greater than 4 yes its output is true and then uh, let's try with ge that means is is 5 greater than or equal 4 true and let's try with the LT that indicate less than is 5 less than 4 it's false because 5 is greater than 4 and here is a last L E so that's how you can do the comparison for your equality operators let me explain you in, uh, in the variable let's take example I have a variable a and I stored the value 5 here let's try this variable a equal to 5 and now I am storing the value b equal to 4 and test the va variable what is output in the 4 uh, b dollar dollar b equal to 4 let's give it try dollar a is equal to eq dollar b sub value is false because uh, the value of dollar a is not equal to value of dollar b that's why output is a false in the similar manner we can test it and e is a value not equal to b that is true yes because dollar a value containing 5 and dollar b containing value 4 and the similar way you can test it for your other operator like a gt dollar a value greater than dollar b value yes so that's how you can use uh, the equality operators in your powershell code let me go to next slide so here is a matching operator what is the matching operator the matching operator find element that match or does not match a specified pattern the pattern for like and not like is a wild card expression that's containing a star question mark and the bracket while match and not match except the regular expression that called rejx here is the list of your matching operators how you can use the operator name is hyphen like that means is string match wildcard pattern and how you can use it let's uh, take example it's a i write it powershell hyphen like 
equal to star and cell that means is a true not like if I use it not like with the same command it will give you the output false and here is a uh, in the uh, rejects pattern that means is a regular expression pattern how you can write its uh, PowerShell hyphen match and I write it down the power that means is a true let's test it in the PowerShell how you can test it I write it down for a, as an example PowerShell let me try with the power and it's a SHE double L PowerShell hyphen like your sh I'm writing here let's take a SHE double L cell so it's false if I'm writing in starting is a star value and let's see the value is true so it's checking before uh, the, this cell before the cell anything if it is matching in the world uh, in this word then that will be a true value now let's test it in the same pattern not like and hit the enter so it's a false output is a false now here now let's try with the regular expressions where uh, in the uh, sorry let's try with the match operator how you can use the match operator let's try with the PowerShell and here I can write the match and what the value I can pass it here that's something similar like this and I use the power and slash w plus sign and let's enter it so it's true what it is searching because it's uh, it's a regular expression if you are using the regular expression then you can use the match operator and here in the similar way you can use the not match how we can write it not and ot not match and I can write here a uh, your when you are using a regular expression so you can use all these uh, all these expression that is called a wild card expression let's give a try with this now how can I use that that is like a uh, starting it's coming uh, okay so that is say I am I'm going to change this this is like a bag P A G and not match with the B and this value after the inside it I'm searching like I no, I O U anything and ending by G how it going to search it will match the starting word if it is matching and uh, the last word in between if this value holding any of this word then output will be a true so this word is matching and the last word is matching and this word can be anything inside here that's why it's a true because it's a regular expressions let me go to the next slide here is a replacement operator what is the replacement operator the operator replace or part of the uh, replace all or part of the value with the specific value using the regular expression here is an example what I write today it's a book value is a book hyphen replace with B comma C and let's see how uh, how it's going to change it let me give you the example here that will be good CLS and uh, I write it down the book under the book and hyphen R -E -P -L -A -C, replace 
which word we are going to replace that is B either you can write in a capital or a small it's a doesn't matter it's a case sensitive B is going to be replaced by the value of C and now hit the enter here is a B value B will replace with the C and if I'm changing like O value will replace with the C so here you can see in its B C C K that is a replace the value let's take example here I am writing something big code that is a B A B and comma I have another value that is called A B D and the another value is B B A B B A and the one more value let's take it a uh, big complex C A D and here what I'm replacing R E P L A C replace I'm going to replace it B value to A and write it down here A value here so let's hit the enter and see now here B A B so it's come A A A A B D so B value is replaced with A that means is now it's became A A D and here is a value B B A and B will replace with the A so it's come with the A A A and now here is a C A D C A D that means is uh, uh, A A replace with the A oh, sorry B value is not there in this word so it will print the same value what it is here that's how you can use the replace uh, replace operator let's see the another example is here what I shows you okay let understand the another operator that's called the containment what is the containment the containment operator it uh, the operator sign is a hyphen contains and not contains or in or not in are similar to equality operator except they always return a boolean value their boolean value is a yes or no these operator stop comparing as they detect the first match let's understand how we can use the contains and not contains so here is a two example I write it down to make you understand how you can use it so if you have a value ABC comma DEF contains the value DEF DEF and the output is a true a similar way I write it down another example Windows comma PowerShell I have the two input values is these value contains the cell no it is not matching because it match from this side to this side left to right and not contains if you uh, if you use the not with the same and then the output will be uh, just reverse ABC comma def not contains def yes it not containing is this value contained not contains the cell yes not uh, true it's not containing now let's go to the next slide for the containment uh, containment operator that used in and not in <clears throat> what is the difference in uh, in the contains and in this uh, the the syntactic reverse of the contains and not contains operator so in in operator returns the true when the left hand side match the elements in the collection not in return though false let's understand this example here I write it down def in ABC a comma def is that true or not what we seen is in the past slide if you notice that ABC was in the first first line and contains in this that side so that's how we was using and I write it down the both the example here in and the contains what is the difference in that so in value will uh, when you are using in con in operator that will compare left to right but contains will do the reverse uh, right to left that is the difference in in and contains operator and the similar way you can use the not in not in uh, that will give you the just the reverse output 
let's understand the next type operator type operator comes with the two statement the type comparison operator used hyphen is and is not are used to determine if and the object is a specific type here i is given the example dollar a equal to 1 and dollar b equal to 1 means in the bracket and this is a perfect example to understand and now we will be doing the comparison let me go here and show you how you can understand this define the dollar a equal to 1 and let's see the value is stored on dollar a or not so dollar a equal to containing one value and dollar b equal to we store with the code and let's see it's a value is 2 and store the value here dollar p now let's understand the data type for this dollar a when i saved the value is equal to without any bracket then dot and get type what type of data it is it is a int data is a int let me put it dollar full name full name is system dot int and let's take this value this is dollar b dollar b dot get type bracket dot full name and what type of this when i stored a numeric value without any code that is a that value is called int so data type stored in a int and when i store the value with the code that became a string so with these two things we cannot do the comparison now if you do the uh, this dollar a hi iphone is and i can say i can check it first is it int yes so value or value stored under dollar b dollar a that is a int value and let me test it dollar b is this is a int value that means is a false so under b under uh, under dollar b the value is stored that is not a int that's what i am trying to explain and let's do the comparison dollar a hyphen a uh, sorry uh, is dollar b and now it's giving me the the error why because we don't do, we are not doing comparison with the right value write the data but here what you seen when we store we store the numeric value here and we store the numeric value here also but if you store just the number that data type is a int but if you use the double code the data type will change and the data type became a string this is a int and this is a string there you cannot uh, you cannot compare the both the data and that's why we are getting the error because how we store the value that is a different and the testing you can do it uh, is it a int or not and uh, all these things you can use it in your in your any powershell code let me go to the next slide here is uh, i think we are done with the slides and thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video.